Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Gani. This is Shorya. Today I'm going to talk about a very important problem that is count of repeating digits in a given number. So uh, this particular problem has come up with very uh, placement, various placement examinations, and you can find this problem uh, in various placement uh, assessments. And uh, this particular problem has come in MCAT coding question also. So this question is very much repetitive. So we will try to understand the logic in this uh, particular video and also try to solve uh, with uh, implementing the logic. So just uh, stick to the end of the video and if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel for more updates. So let's get started. So the particular problem is saying that you have to count the uh, repeating digits in a given number. So we have to take an input and in that input we have to count that how many digits are repeating. Okay, so if a digit is repeating, we can print it that this particular digit is repeating. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, understand the logic uh, while doing this problem. So let's start. Okay, so at first, uh, what we'll do that at first, we'll take a function and we'll take an input in, a, uh, in the argument, right? So uh, at first, we'll take a class. Okay, so let's uh, name it. Okay, count uh, dig. Okay, count dig. Now, uh, what we'll do that, at, uh, we'll take a function, okay? So static int count digit, okay? Now we'll take the input, okay? Let's name it n, okay? Now in the uh, function, we have, to un uh, we have to implement the logic. So what is the logic? We have to at first take a variable, okay? So just we can increment the, okay? So we have to increment the result, okay? increment and store the result so this particular uh, particular result variable will ensure that the result will be incremented and stored in the output now what will do that uh, we'll take a while loop okay at first taking the while loop we'll take a array okay suppose uh, we'll take a array int count and now we'll take the size as 100 why we'll uh, take the array because we have to uh, store the numbers in the array and we have to increment it, right? So that's why we'll take the array. Now what we'll do that, we have to take a while loop, right? We'll take a while loop and then uh, we'll just, while n greater than zero, so the while condition will be for the n greater than zero and then we'll take a remainder, okay, a int name and then we'll just take the last input or last digit of the given number. Okay, so n percent change. So that's actually uh, defining that we'll take the last digit. Okay, then uh, what we'll do that from the last digit we have to increment the uh, digits. Okay, so what we'll do that uh, we'll take the count array and then we'll just store the remainder and then just increment it. So this particular rem remainder is actually taking the last digit of the given number and we're just incrementing this uh, we're just incrementing this in the count array right count array right so the digits are stored in the count array and it is incremented very good now what we'll do that we'll just ensure that the uh, process is not repetitive so that we'll just remove the last digits okay so we'll continue to remove the last digit. So we have to take the condition is that n equal to n by 10. Okay. So that's the condition of removing the last digits. Okay. Removing the last digits. So that's the, that is the particular condition that you have to remember. So this can, this, these are the conditions that have to implement it in the function. Now what we'll do that, uh, we have to take that if, uh, no, we have to take the loop. Okay. So for int, I get a, I equal to zero, then I less than the count length. Okay, so the array that will define the length of the count. Okay, so count dot length i plus plus, and we have to ensure that the frequency of digits that is actually stored in the count array will be greater than one. So what will do that? If uh, count i, uh, okay, if count i greater than one. Okay, if count i greater than one, then what we we'll simply uh, what will store the result? We have to just uh, increment it within the result. So just result plus plus. Okay, so we are just incrementing the uh, final output. 
incrementing the repeating digits you can say that and just store it right so result uh, we have just de uh, defining the result and just incremented it and now we are we have to just simply return the this okay result you can say so this is the particular function okay so we just uh, return the result so this is the first loop and this is the second loop and this is the function loop right so this loop will not be existing here and now we'll just take the input right okay so uh, we'll just take the input right in uh, p equal to we just take 335566 uh, five, five, six. okay now we'll just take the system dot out dot print ln and we just uh, take the function okay so the function will be count digit and then just we'll take the p okay so that the particular for conditionally will be the output of this particular given con given input okay so uh, at first we will try to analyze what will be the output uh, here okay so you can see that uh, 3 is repeating okay 5 is repeating and 6 is repeating so 3 is repeating 5 is repeating and 6 is repeating so final output will be 3 because there are 3 variables or 3 digits are actually repeating right so uh, yeah, so that is the final thing, and we have to, we have to just uh, get the final output. So they'll, so let's just uh, compile it, okay, and then just run it. So here we can see that the result is three because and what we analyze that the result is three, okay. So let's just uh, take another output, right? Let's just take another output. You can see that uh, like I am just deleting the 6, 6. Okay, so now what will be the output? The output will be yes, 2 because 3 is repeating and 5 is repeating. Very clear. Let's just compile it and let's just run it. See, the answer is 2. So I think it is very much clear to you what is the uh, logic behind this and what is the output of this. Guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel and follow this channel. It will be very much helpful for you. Uh, for these videos are very much helpful to you because this uh, particular question can even come in your exams, right? So like and subscribe and let's get connected. Thank you.